Hi guys and welcome back to Miss Azriel's Gaming. So today we're going to play a game that I found on Steam. It's called Death and Taxes and we play the Grim Reaper. So it seemed uh, interesting to me. So let's go ahead and we're going to start a new game. Okay. Okay, got it. Okay, Fate Keeper of the World Order. Show the lemons. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Ooh, he's angry. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, me. Ooh. <clears throat> hmm. Oh my gosh, I love that. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not ready. It's like Harlequin looking. <laughs> to go with that. Oh, look, I'm a girl. That's creepy. Hmm. I like that. Okay, so begin the bureauf bureaucratic afterlife. Yes. Finally, <coughs> the new spawn has awoken. What a, a momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn... Uh, hang on. Spawn number... One? Three. Um, thirteen? <laughs> I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Okay, so where am I? What is this? What am I? Hello, a pleasure to meet you, Fate. I don't much care for being just 13. Can I be Fate? <laughs> um, I'm going to be I'm going to be pleasant. I'm going to say hello, a pleasure to meet you. Oh, a polite Grim Reaper for a change. This is a good start. Mm. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Oh. Pretty standard stuff. That's not hard. <laughs> As it is your first day, try to get to know the system, and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <coughs> Clear? Okay, so, wait, I have to kill people? I am not ready for this. Okay, whatever you say, boss. Will I get paid for this? Hmm. Let's go with I get paid for this. Most certainly. <coughs> the contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your Ooh, fee do at that. all. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total even if the primary task is <laughs> executed <clears throat> correctly. Look, look at his cat's face. His cat's slightly creepy. Can I click on the cat? No. It's just look at his eyes. And that smile. That's kind of unsettling. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Alright, so where do I work? I was born to do this, why me? Whatever, let's get this over with. Um, let's say why me? Because someone has to. Come along. I will now show you your workplace. Okay. One more thing. 
This will be your seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. Mm, sounds like we got a week to do this. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. Oh no, I'm so nervous. Okay, so uh, Deus Vex Machina. I still need to mark some of the profiles before I end my shift. Oh, this looks interesting. My instructions for the day, the marker of death, better pick it up and start marking some files. Well, I have a phone at least. Good for procrastinating and scrolling through. Cocker. Okay, so read this. So, welcome, Grim. Here are the files on humans who are in life-threatening situations within your domain. I am granting you time to settle in, so no difficult rules and requests as of today. Quota for the day, one human has to die. Send me the file by fax after you have made your decision. Good luck on the first day, fate. Or what's this? Nothing. Nothing. <clears throat> Let's check my phone really quick. Mm. Nothing on it. Okay, Cerberus Den, Feed Your Soul, open on weekends. That is a cool sounding bar restaurant name for sure, Cerberus Den. All right, let's take a look here. We have Leland uh, Payokov, 40 years old, a grave digger. A yellow sun rises, shots have been fired tonight, is what Leland says every morning. Looking into the distance, prepared for the crime of victims that inevitably get brought in that day. Occasionally, they find bones from the dirt and use them to act out, act out key scenes from Whamlet. Jonathan Carey, age 39, lawyer. Jonathan enjoys doing pro bono work at various uh, penal facilities all over the country in order to reduce sentences of minor offenders. In their free time, they go like to go trans transpotting with friends and family. Or trainspotting. I was like, why is that? That shouldn't be two words, shouldn't it? Uh, well, it sounds like this guy should probably die. I'm just... Let's... Oh, how do I use... I we use oh there we go okay the choice is final confirm yes die <laughs> uh and he gets to live okay so do you want to confirm your choices yes Oh, neat. Grim office. Oh, cool. I can scroll up. Okay, that's Fate's office. I don't know if I should go there or not. Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? Really good. Okay, I guess. Bad. A person died. I hate following orders. I'm gonna say really good. Great. We are counting on your dedication. You do important work, after all. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today, as tasked. Did you figure out the best choice? Nobody deserves to die. The best. There were only two options. I did. No, I didn't. Uh, I'll say I did. To Let's be honest, confidence. I gave a simple <laughs> one to begin with. There was no best choice. Sometimes none of the options are good. Not for everyone. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, ironclad law of cosmos. Question. Okay, so I still don't understand what exactly I'm supposed to do. Nope, I'm ready for anything. Well, I mean, I understand the basics, so I'll just say nope. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines. And keep up the good work. A new day awaits. Off you go now. Alright, so let's... Oh, there's my personal quarters. Let's just take a look if we can do it. 
Oh, I can't go to the Cerberus then? Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. Ooh, let's go here. What ho, customer! Welcome mm, to Quartermaster right. Mortimer's Plunder Emporium! As you may guess, I am Mortimer. The Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. The famous, nay, infamous Quartermaster! Oh, yeah. So, never heard of you before. What makes you infamous? The Mortimer. An honor to meet such a legend. Let's just say that. I, tis me, terror <clears throat> of the waves. I might have grown most humble with age, but tales of my thunderous exploits will live forever. Cool. Uh, sure, okay. Can I buy stuff here? <laughs> Aye. Ye are visiting me ultimate dream. The Emporium. Browse at your will. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Threno Threnody to Desolation. Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. It says a widget. A uh, peculiar flex twirl disquietingly inside this glass globe, never settling. In the middle of the storm stands figures too difficult to discern. Everything seems to be in a state of constant transfiguration. Um, Eye of Anpu clothing. Uh, God of the Dead, mummification, embalming, the afterlife, cemeteries and tombs, and the protector of the underworld. This hound really gets around and grants you a stunning canine visage. Oh, neat. And then we have the Thenebrous Curiosity. Uh, it spins and swirls, it clicks and clacks. Very soothing and helpful in times of stress. More to you, less, less to others. I can't afford anything. Your prices are ridiculous, dude. I'm out of here. I'm just gonna go to bed. I want to go to the bar, but I guess I can't. It's a lie. It's a lie. Okay, so let's go ahead and end the first day. Dressing room. I need a mirror. I need a mirror for this. Oh, so you actually have to put stuff in your room, I guess. Okay, so the Grim office. Does he get new things? Let's check. Jolly Roger! Oh, he does. Again ye honor me, tiny abode, with your visit. Okay, so we have the Calavera. Only a noble craftsman can craft an Afanique of this caliber. Exquisite, tasty, no one can deny it had the sweetest possible visage if I wore this. Um, ethereal resonator. The resonator collates accelerated electromagnetic waves of various frequencies generated by the artificial vibration of eternal recurrence, which travel through the ether and then blast them at you. Okay, and a cactus, <laughs> cactus, the most brutal of plants. Oh, I could get that, but I like my face. What the hell is this guy doing? Apparently he waddles. Mm. All right, fine. Look, the ghost waddles, too. Okay, my instructions for the day. Oh. Okay, Crow's News, local hobbyist. What's if I put it in the door? Okay. Uh, local hobbyist wins photo competition with fabulous frames of freight trains caught in storm. Crow News, bodies keep piling up after death of city's crave digger. The Daily Moon. It wasn't me, says Secretary of Environment, after questioned about the horrible smell engulfing the city. Okay, so morning, Grim. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them and you will be okay. I'm handing you another simple task. Quota for the day. One human with an engineering or industrial background has to die. Business as usual fate. Okay, it says maybe if I put it in the drawer, it'll stop making noise. All right, so let's see what we have. So we have uh, Soros Hall, age 29, game designer, digital artist. Soros has always had the sensible idea and fantastical visions, which is why they're now in charge of developing the latest expansion to Planet of Peacecraft. The expansion promises an even grander open world experience along with an epic tale of deceit and corruption. Uh... Sifso Eek, 44, general contractor. Sifsco, uh, Sifsco constructs buildings not much else to do. They try their best to, dem to manage balance between the demands of clients and the experimental ideas of architects. In their spare time, they like carving small sculptures. 
And then we have Ashkey Cor uh, Conroy, age 30, landscape architect. Huh. Industrial background or engineering. Uh, Ashkey loves nature and enjoying planning, so they decided to put these two together. Their main expertise is in environmental restoration, reintroducing balance habits into abun abandoned industrial areas. They're an avid drawing enthusiast, often sketching wildlife and pencil art. Hmm. So one in one human with an engineering or industrial background. Did I not see? I mean, I would think it might be him. Oh, maybe this one. Because they do restoration and reintroducing balance and ha uh, habitats in abandoned industrial areas. So it might be this one. Okay, so let's... Kill this one. Okay. Um, we'll let him live. And we'll let her live. I mean, because she's making sounds like a pretty good video game, so <laughs> just go with that. Alright. I wonder if it changed or if it's okay yeah it's the same just curious zoom okay let's check in with fate grim how was the second day on the job great good meh bad really bad uh let's go with good good let's not be too confident so did you follow the rules properly i did almost maybe i don't really know nope not at all i think i did so let's go great there. yes everything looks to be in order continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down sounds great i still don't know what i'm doing i hope i get to kill more people can i get a vacation let's ask this one nope no rest well you will need it see you soon <laughs> Creepy cat. <clears throat> okay, so I should have 600. Is there anything here I wanted? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna sit on my money. I'm gonna wait. So we'll go ahead and end the day. See what new things are in the shop. Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandising. Okay, so we have unholy smokes. Ah, visage which is equal parts bold, gruff, smooth, and cool. Straight from the old days when expensive advertising told me smoking was cool. Then we still have the resonator and inferior ephemeral mortality, a coin, the thing which usually makes up the largest portion of any buried treasure. Hmm. I don't know. Why would I want that? Okay, so we'll just leave. I'm going to sit on my money. Something good might come in. Do your job. Okay, so morning, Grim. A new day dawned. You ought to know the drill by now. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, Crow News. Young landscaper, dead from a venomous snake bite. Uh-oh. He ended up dying anyway. Reader preview of the soon-to-be-released expansion to Peacecrafts. It's going to be a life-changing event. Modern health. Excessively uh, sedentary gaming lifestyle leading to an increase in health issues. And Culture Mag. The Dragonhead Galley to host an exhibition of intricate wooden sculptures. Okay. So a new day dawns. You ought to know the drill by now. But just in case, here's another simple one. No special request today. Try to follow the rules and choose the appropriate profiles. Then send them to me for by fax quota for the day two humans have to die keep up the good work fate okay so let's put the money in here my money is wailing hush money okay so we have leo Borj borjorovsky 
67 politician. Leo has been in politics for over 40 years, and in that time, they've worked hard on relaxing the government's meddling in the real estate market. Although nobody has found proper proof, there have been rumors that Leo has taken many bribes from a number of realtor agencies. Okay. He's, he's gone. He sounds like a jerk. Plus, he's like 67 years old, so... Okay, we have Lucas Ward, 75. Lucas, uh, he's retired. He's lived a calm and con content life, married, having raised three kids and helped raise seven grandkids. Yet they're never, yet they've never felt particularly happy up until a moment five years ago, until they admitted and accepted their preferred sexual orientation. Their family was very supportive. Okay, well he can live. We have uh, Columba Hunter, 47, airline pilot. Columba is a, dis a distinguished war veteran, these days working as a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. They're happily married and have five children. As a hobby, Columba is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. Well, he sounds like a decent guy. I hope I don't get myself in a hole by doing these now instead of reading them all. But Okay, uh, Kefri Onward, 48, Rector. Uh, Kefri is a strict and, sto and stoic with a strong belief in hard work and that they've done enough of it to last a lifetime. They have a loving spouse and an estranged child. When the heir told of their romantic inclinations, Kefri thought about beating those thoughts out with a stick but ended up banishing the kid from home instead. Oh, he sounds like a D-bag. Let's check out this person for a second. Okay, so Lee Young, 51, housekeeper. Lee is a beloved housekeeper for a traditional household. After the last owner perished, they just stayed put, and the next family accepted them with open arms. Lee is also secretly housing their asocial spouse in a secret room in the attic. They're deathly allergic to peanuts. Um, it's weird that they're hiding their spouse, but this guy sounds like a jerk. So we'll take him out. And we'll let this person live, although they're probably, since they're deathly allergic to peanuts, they're probably going to die anyway. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so let's go check on our work. Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Awesome. Balancing the world, getting things done, uh, fine more or less. It's still a bit confusing. I feel hungry all the time. How is that even possible? Uh, let's go with this one. Excellent. That is what I hoped to hear. As you may imagine, it is important to keep morale up in our line of work. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. There really is not much else to say. Yay. You may leave. See you tomorrow. I'm really feeling good about my work, guys. I, you know, I've been doing really well. Making money. Making choices, you know, I'm feeling good. Coin, which usually makes up the largest part. I don't know if I want this stuff or not. Yeah, I'll save my money. I'm waiting for something really cool. Or that I can go to the bar. Okay, next day. Okay, let's check out the shop. What ho! Oh, got some new. Th How oh, can me, humble and not at all adventurous self, assist you today? Okay, so we have the Grim Cape. So this dark cape is a classic attire for any Grim's deeds. It's pleasantly warm while offering protection against wind and rain, which you won't actually need as you'll always be stuck in the office. We have the Infernal Illuminator. So the Infernal Illuminator reveals that which is most deeply hidden. Once you've already made the choice and are passing through again, else it can't show much anything because that's how things work, okay? Then we have the Apothic Reflector, a looking glass gazing ultimately deep into the abyssal, abyssal depths of the underworld. It reflects everything well, mostly just you. Okay, so I want to buy this. Oh, tis wondrous marvel. Once upon me and me crew sailed the southern seas Apparently and came across an accursed lighthouse. Plundered the lot of it, even the mirrors. Mm. Built the frame from beautiful driftwood, washed ashore, from the ship we rammed into. <laughs> Covers it in all gold, too. Coarse. I, a proper beauty. Hmm. Okay, then we've got the. I wonder. No, I can't afford that. That would take all my money, so I'll just stick with the mirror for right now. We 
Mortimer's. Corpse paint. It says Queen, I guess, is the outfit I'm wearing. Oh, yeah. So, street punk, lit business, just another job. Destiny, punk, pop punk, salesman, the undertaker, Queen. I like that one. So, we have flower power, golden, I am pretty, poltergeist, bonehead, and corpse paint. I like, I'm just going to stick with that because I like that. Okay. So, let's go ahead and start our next work day. And we've only got like one coin. Okay, so do your job. Oh, let's see what this is. So Crow News all survived in a plane crash due to skillful efforts of the pilot. Crow News, a local politician dead after being struck by a car. Police have not yet ruled out a deliberate hit. Crow News, rector of uh, Sedostan High School found dead. Guess they're a... What is that? Guess they're a director now, a local chokester notes. Crow News, a senior citizen creates support group for other elders, elderly with questions of sexual preference. Okay, so Grim, have you looked outside today? It rains. It has been raining for hours. Appropriate to accompany the despondence within me. Well, here are some rules for you. Quota for the day, three humans have to die. Another day, another death. Fate. Okay, we, so we have Rico Papillion, 34, email scammer. Rico has built a fully automated spam bot sending thousands of emails a day, offering people riches beyond their wildest dreams, only if they share their credit card information first. It's a numbers game, so they succeed from time to time. Grim, I am watching. You should mark this profile to live. Really? He wants me to let this guy live. Ugh. I want to mark him die. Why would I want this dill hole to live? I wonder what happens if I mark die. Let's just do it. He's a jerk. Okay, so we have uh, Tecumseh Gold, 65, professor. Tecumseh is a renowned professor of mathematics who enjoys challenging their students with non- nice unsolvable equations it's the best way to force them into being more intentive and inventive and creative they say lately they've started tutoring a gifted janitor with a troubled past well that sounds like a decent person okay so omar al amir 70 retired when younger omar postponed reading literature th postponed reading literature thinking oh i'll get around to it once i'm old when the time finally came they started going through novels novellas, short story collections etc one after the other now they regret the early decision as they're afraid they'll die before they get to read all these books uh gideon lacroix uh, 43 Gideon, he's a venture capitalist. Gideon had great success with investing into the technology sector, especially during the wave of startups. They seem to have a sense in picking out firms with high growth potential. Lately, they've they've looked into the gaming industry, trying to find anything that catches their eye. And ir what is that? Iriker Valberg, 26, community manager. Iriker is an avid, avid digital sports enthusiast who works at the office of Pallardex Digital Sports League. They're also a death metal vocalist, passionate about getting the very best out of performance. Okay, so this, this is hard to do. But I'm going to do this guy because he's 70. Because I have to do three now, right? It's three, yeah. So we've got two already. Oh, man, this is hard because I don't... Okay, I'm going to get rid of this guy because he's probably a screamer, and I hate guys that scream when they sing. <laughs> it's frog music. That's my only, that's my only reason. Okay, and then he can live. There we go. I wonder if I'll get punished for that one guy. <laughs> probably. Grim. There you are. Let us be quick. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. Although you made an error with my test note, such inattention is not commendable. Oh, I do not fully understand what you are planning to do with these small and trivial acts of rebellion. You are mainly just making it more difficult for yourself. Uh, in my defense, that's the first mistake I've made. Cat growls quietly as if emitting a sound of disappointment. Sounds like he's gonna eat me. Anyway, 
I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. Well, now we know we're not supposed to go against what he wants. That's okay, I'll go to the bar. Okay, so let's just go ahead and go to the next day. Okay, let's check the store. Have ye seen such deals before? Tis ye who plunders me. Okay, so the Plague Doctor. Oh my, that's it, I'm getting that. Sporting a super stylish beak, the mask hails from an era of epidemics where physicians, with little to no medical expertise, try to alleviate the suffering of the inflicted, an ill omen, but it really fancies up my visage. Buying it. Huh. Didn't know I still had this beaked eyesore. Mm. I was at a gathering of some immensely wealthy idiots where I saw an absolute buffoon wear this as professional attire. Just look at it! A weird long curve of a nose, and those stupid goggles. Ridiculous! Had to have it. So we plundered the whole lot of them. <laughs> Lest these smelled nice, for they soiled their trousers from beer. Then the mask came in real handy. Then Boo the Gerbil, a perfect regular sized toy gerbil made out of rubber. Oh, I want to buy it. Lord no blimey, money. how did this wee monster even get here? Tis not really all that valuable plunder. Found the tiny fellow on the riverbanks of Styx itself. A lifeless, adorable thing. Can't imagine it being useful for anything. But sure makes delightful squeaks when he stroke it. Hmm, then I shall call him Cerberus. Knock, knock. Uh, hello? Who's there? Must be hearing things. Let's say uh, hello. Hello. Kind of you to finally answer. Who are you? What are you? I must be losing my mind. So who are you? We are the exalted Chimera. Envied by all the blind, arrogant fools. We are angst ex milio. We are nothing. A despicable failure. We are Elan Vital, the guide who won't lead astray, if only you learn to listen. We are death. How does it feel? Um, what does, what feel? I don't understand. Uh, feels fine. I don't have time for this, whatever it is. How about you just leave me alone? What does what feel? I don't understand. Uh, feels fine. Not a cloud in the sky. Have you forgotten what happened? Be seeing you, Reaver. It's a grim world out there. All the puns. It's a punny place. Yes! I love it. Love it. And I've got it on here. It's my little squeaker. Yo, he squeaks! <laughs> Okay, so Culture Mag, a charming real life tale of maths professor helping a young maths genius to be turned into a film. Tech Bros, investor finds self ensnared in a sunk cost uh, fallacy, keeps pumping funds into experimental art game that doesn't seem to get finished. And Crow's News, a lightning tuss, truss falls on singer at local concert venue. Okay, so read me. Okay, morning, Grim. It is but a mundane day, nothing out of the ordinary going on anywhere. A regular day in the usual district of the typical planet. Who longs for some excitement? Quota for the day, two humans have to die. F spare any humans with a food service background. I hope you're enjoying the routine fate. Okay, so... Uh, I, uh... A Fokina, 27, photojournalist. Aie used to be a war correspondent. Nowadays, most of their time is spent searching for feel-good stories. They recently got hired to the Daily Cl uh, Clarion, where the editor-in-chief tasked them with identifying a peculiar vigilante of sorts who keeps running around the city in a manatee-themed costume. Okay, Roy Swig, 59, a pharmacist. Roy's job is recommend... Uh, is to recommend which over-the-counter medicines people should take. After getting some extra money from several herbal supplement producers, they are now exclusively suggested that real drugs contain chemical elements and natural supplements are the best. Mm. I have to... Two humans have to die and spare any human. He might be the one that goes. 
Okay, uh, Vladimir Bogdan, 45, Baker. Vladimir Miri dreams of organizing a pretzel invasion, crushing oppositions across all pastries. They actively promote pretzel supremacy. Pretzels shall one day rule the land of the confectionery. I do like pretzels. And that would be a food background. So, uh, Rosine Karinga, 27, live streamer. Rosine does daily live streams where they play some games, cook some food, draw, and just have pleasant talk with their viewers. They have a rather large and rapidly growing following. They're also started including environmental conscious messages to their channel. Well, they do have something to do with food. Louis uh, Zaminas, 36, restaurant owner. Got munchies for shark fin? Can't find any? Not if Louis Zaminas is near. They're a big fan of shark fin and other questionable foods like turtle jelly, which Louis has served in the restaurant for a decade. They also involved in distri distributing these food items to grocery stores. Okay, and Rokai Toto, 46, confectionery art artist. So, uh, Rokai... Ryuka participated in the local cooking contest 25 years ago and came in second in a tight race, losing due to slightly inadequate chocolate tampering techniques. What should have been an uplifting experience turned into a healthy obsession with tampering, tempering chocolate. Okay, well, they have a food, so they have to live. Okay, this guy has food, so he has to live. This person does food, so they need to live. He does food, so he has to live. Okay, this guy's gone. And this person's gone. Sorry. What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today ah. seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Okay, so I didn't like it at first, but I've grown to enjoy it. Meh, a job like any other. Honestly, I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I crave more. I still feel awful about every choice. Every moment is living hell. I hate this job. <laughs> This one cracks me up, and I feel like with my suit and the mask, I should really be doing. Honestly, I feel like I'm not killing enough people I crave more. But I'm going to say, I didn't like it at first, but I've grown to enjoy it. Ah, I told you one would get used to it. Uh, at least, I hope I told you. Corporate motivation and all that. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Absolutely, I'm not sure. Not really. Is there another way? I would say absolutely. Hmm. Your certainty soothes me. Ours is the tradition, and those should not ever change. For that is the meaning of a tradition, yes? This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you made? But you hand out the rules and make them and make me do the choices. Can't worry too much if this is what has to be done. I'm not happy about the situation now. I'll say can't worry about it. This is what has to it be done. It gladdens me to hear you do not bother yourself with unnecessary concerns. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Okay, so why haven't I seen any underage profiles? What's the basis for the profiles? Is there a point system? Why do they? Why do all the profiles refer to people as they? Not really. Uh, let's say, what's the basis for the profiles? Is there a point system? Oh, <clears throat> not at all. Don't they all influence the world in many ways? The humans can't actually affect anything. You don't sound too sure about that. Okay, then. Don't they influence the world in many ways? In all and in none, yes. Is it predetermined? What about free will? I'm so confused. Let's go with this one. Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your desk a result of their own deeds and decisions. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. 
but that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry about it. Anything else? Uh, sure, let's just, let's go ahead and ask all the questions. I haven't seen any underage profiles. Ah, the children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. Are there many offices or departments? Okay, good to know. Countless. And they all have reapers working in them? Myriad. Really? Close enough. Mm. Anything else? Okay, what about animals? Do they get department? Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. No escape. Even plants. Mm. Yes, there is a department for plants. Do not ask about the plant department. Anything else? What about the unliving things building stuff? Technically, uh, kind of, I guess. Ruins are like a type of dead. But then again, they often feel so alive. Hmm, I must ponder. This topic is a bit too <laughs> abstract for now. Let us table it. Anything else? Okay, so let's go ahead and ask this one. Why do all the profiles refer to people as they? An astute observation. You see, Grim, our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. So no gender information, no ethic data, ethnic data. Minimal. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all. Excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. Anything else? That's all I can think of. I want to get back to work. Right. It has been enlightening. Mm. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, so we should only have two days left. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to bed. Good patron, me ship of goods is at your service. <laughs> ears of the beast a pair of cat ears would look really nice on me and inspire all the felines of the world just don't talk or even think about the film adaptation or the musical and then we have the annals of trans science uh, the annals of trans science help keep track of any passing uh, temporalites it counts days in the month from 1 to 28 those are days those are all the days all of them hmm. so it's a calendar Okay, so let's get to work. Put our money in the drawer so it doesn't growl at us. Okay, so foodies, why are these damn pretzels everywhere? Eco watch, local shark population drops to a dangerous level. Are tasty creatures destined to go extinct? Uh, Green Thumb, a popular streamer, launches eco-friendly campaign, many people, small changes, and we can already see the results. Utopian Vision, homelessness is a moral nightmare and a failure of society. Okay, so. Uh, morning Grim, we seem to be on the precipice of dark times. I may have warned you that this job can have some harsh moments. Today is that day. So, quota for the day. A total of six humans have to die. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, man, that's all of them but two. At least three humans, age 35 or younger, have to die. And spare humans with a medical background. This is very serious fate. Okay, so anybody with a medical background. So, let's look for that first. Okay, so Sierra Lopez, 29, attorney. Sierra is still 29, but already a hotshot lawyer. They're most famous for winning a case and getting the victim's family to pay damages to a drunk driver who killed their son. They will always find a loophole and present the case very convincingly. They sound like a devil. Okay, so Annie Rame, 27, veterinarian. Annie's had a special connection with animals from a very young age, occasionally even preferring their company over humans. Although they have only worked as a vet for a few years, they already consider a legend and nicknamed the Mouse Whisperer. Sigmund Darren, 28, microbrewer bartender. Sigmund lives together with their arti artist girlfriend. They like craft beer, biking. Sigmund's brew was voted best local craft beer of the year twice. Uh, Michael St. James, 43, unemployed. Michael is a lover of pizza, especially those with pineapple toppings, and it should be. They attempted to become a millionaire by 30, but ended up homeless instead. Still, they did not lose their love of writing poems and pineapple pizza. Uh, Kathy Kowalski, 33, nurse. Dude, this, wait, no, let me go back here. Pineapple pizza. This dude should, I should just kill him on the fact that he puts pineapple on his pizza. That's disgusting. 
Okay, so Kathy Kowalski, 33, nurse, born to migrant parents. Kathy was expected to go far, but never became a doctor. They toil long hours at the local hospital and love their job. While not being gentle with needles around old patients who accidentally touched their butt <laughs> when not working, Kathy lives in a tiny apartment doing laundry, sleeping, and eating takeout. Well, she has a medical background. Uh, Pavarni War, 25, art history student. Pavarni, an avid reader and student of art history, comes from a rough background. They grew up in a very poor neighborhood, yet the local community pulled their meager funds to help Pavarni ascend to higher education. Harrison Stewart, 73, mysterious capitalist. No one knows much about Harrison. Their history and identity are both mysteries. Most often they are seen moving around in a wheelchair, barely speaking a word to anyone, although it is known they once helped a lost detective. And Dejen Albedio, 28, Petty Thief. Dejen needs to eat to live and steal to eat. Uh, their spouse disapproves of Dejen's life choices and lets them know of it every time they're together. After a while, Dejen decided to lie to their spouse that they got a regular job. That's right, they decide to steal. Okay, so we have to kill th three humans age 35 or younger. Okay, he's gone. Okay, so I'm going to let her live. She has a medical background. Okay, she's 25, does not have a medical background. She's gone. I'm going to get rid of this one. She's a veterinarian. That's technically a medical background, so we'll let her live. And then that means everybody else has to go. And we've gotten the 35 and under as well. Okay, so we've got the uh, six humans gone. Three were at least 35 and younger, and I spared the two that had the medical backgrounds. Ah, that was an achievement. Pineapple hater. Doom the guy who likes pineapple pizza. For sure. That's disgusting. Ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark times. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? I was built for dark times. There was a lot to do, but I worked it all out. Bad. I did what I had to. Doesn't mean I liked it. I was built for dark times. Excellent. With this attitude, you will become a most industrious reaper. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Don't you know what happened? You're in charge after all. Maybe it was an industrial accident of some sort. It felt toxic. Beats me a day like any other. Don't really care. Death is death. I know it was bad. That's what matters. Don't you know what happened? You're in charge. Maybe it was an industrial accident of some sort. It felt toxic. I don't know. Let's just go with that one. Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Hmm? Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Okay, so that tomorrow should be the last day. Let's see if we get talked to again. Okay, now. Wait. Can I go to the bar? Yes! Gus, Grim Day, Meet Your Fate, Crow Patrol, Employee of the Month, Reaper 667, uh, Thinking with Mortals. Let's talk to Gus. The air is eerie cold, as if frozen in place, too scared to move an inch. Hi, eep, a ghost. Boo. Let's be polite. Uh, what, what do you want? You can talk. I'm a new Grim, number 13. What's up? Sorry to bother you. I came here to meet new people. A fresh-faced lemon head. Uh, exactly what I wanted to see today. Rude. Hey now, Gus. Play nice. My head's not shaped like a lemon. Well, seems I'm stuck with you now. You want to ask questions or something? What do you do here? What can you tell me about the barkeep? Who were you before? Good to see ya. I'm, I'm good the janitor. You. I clean up the damn mess you make. What do you mean? What mess? I haven't done anything. <laughs> Liquor, spirits, booze, fire water, rock cut. You're daft or something. Ever looked in the mirror or thought about the clientele of this place? 
Where do you think the drink goes? None of you have a stomach. Anything you consume falls through the rib cage, straight to the floor. Oh, I didn't really think about that. I was wondering why the floor is so sticky. Isn't this why you get paid? <laughs> Pretty gross, right? A gift to the world from all you pompous reapers. I don't. Or could be at least a here. little more considerate. This is the first time I've been here. I appreciate you, whatever, just do your job. Gee, uh, thanks. Eh, something else you wanted? How do you clean things Simple. anyway? I float around and I possess stuff and make the stuff float into the trash bin. <laughs> like dust, for example. One dust particle at a time. Or the drinks. One droplet at a time. Isn't that really tedious? Isn't that kind of efficient? That's weird, but also very cool. Let me go down. Eh, it's fine, I guess. Gives me something to do. As if the highest management ever gave any thought to us lowly drones. We're all nameless custodians and spawns to them. Literally. I've got a name. Could be they're kind of busy. I'll make a name for myself. They'll have to listen to me. Do you really? Or are you just another number in a long line of numbers, hmm? Eh, something else you wanted? Uh, what can you tell me about the barkeep? Sorry, they're hella cool. Why, thank you. You're nothing but a sweetheart, ain't ya? Ah, shucks. You're the only one who truly treats Gus with respect. Who were you before? What's that supposed to mean? You know, what human were you? Are you the ghost of a portfolio I marked to death? I was just wondering about your past. Because you thought I'm the ghost of some dead human or beast or what? I mean, you are kind of human-like, so you're not a human. Oh, you could be the ghost of the awesome monster beast. <laughs> Say that one. I, I mean, if only. No, no. Ghosts aren't mere residue, a relic of humans, animals, or whatever other entities. We're just ghosts. We're beings unto ourselves. I am. The ghost of a ghost. Hang on, you were a ghost and then you died? How does that work? Does that mean you're practically immortal? I uh, don't want to know more. Yeah, pretty much. How does that work? Does that mean you're practically immortal? So how does that work? How do you think? A ghost been around a long while, doing my ghost business, and then one day, I died. <laughs> I know what you're thinking now, and yeah, there is a ghost apartment. Northeasterly direction down on floor 133. Not too busy over at Geistall, though. Ghosts don't die that often. Comes to the territory. Eh, something else you wanted? Bye, nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get back to work anyway. Hm. Okay, let's talk to... I think he's called her Si... Siri? Whoa! Hello there. I'm Sari, and I welcome you Sari. to Cerberus's Den, the finest drinking establishment this side of the void. I love that name. I <laughs> sure as heck haven't seen you before. You must be brand new. Yeah, there's plague everywhere. It makes sense to wear your dang mask. <laughs> Besides, it looks hella dope. <laughs> I love it. She loves the plague doctor mask. So... How are you liking existence thus far? I wonder if that means she'll comment on all the faces. Uh, feels pretty good to be alive, in a sense. It sucks. I kind of hate it here. Lots of tedious paperwork so far. Gotta look on the brighter side of undeath, eh? I'm sure you never thought this was how you'll end up. Sometimes, these are the cards we are dealt. Okay, newbie, before we continue, I got this little, uh, game I play with every fresh face mm, patron. It's real simple. All you gotta do is answer a series of questions, and I'll craft a personalized drink inspired by what you said. It's like a quiz. I love quizzes. I'm not sure about this. Fun and games. It's not. It's so not my style. I love quizzes. Right. <clears throat> the gist. I'll describe some sort of an odd situation, and you answer how you'd react. I usually do four questions, and nothing else to it. Sounds fun. Here we go. Prepare for question number one. You are given the chance to level up one attribute of your character. Which aspect would you increase? Uh, bone institution. <laughs> that sounds wrong on so many levels. Uh, calligraphy, capstum, grimsa, scytherinity, scullagens. Well, I would be all about charisma, to be honest. But I kind of like the siren, scythe, scythrity. Mm. Uh, 
I'm gonna go with this one. Time for question number two. You behold two doors. One plain and old, the other forged of gold. The old one seems to imply disgrace and shame. The golden door cries of nobility and grandeur. It's up to your brave soul to make the first choice. Which door will you enter? Okay, so the golden one, it shines of glory. The old one of prudence and modesty. Doors are for dimwits. I'll break the window and jump out. <laughs> Uh, I'll go with the golden one. Next up, question three. Almost there. After being tasked with creating a computer game about dating monstrous eldritch gods, you've come <laughs> up with several characters. Which of the possible god beings is clearly the hottest and most beatable <laughs> of the lot? What? Uh, Ab Nephrila, mostly abs, but with a gorgeous blonde mane. As Hothla, the blind idiot god, at least they're fuzzy. Mm, no, thank you. Uh, Ogeth Sloth Sathla, a grotesque tree with a warm heart. Uh, Jupe Flex, one arm, internal flexing. Nameless Missy, Misty, ethereal beauty, if a bit translucent. Or Wolfram, half wolf, half ram, half tank. Hmm. Well, I don't want the blind idiot god that's fuzzy. Grotesque tree with a warm heart. I don't think I want a grotesque tree. I uh, don't want a one arm. Ethereal beauty, a bit translucent. Um, but I have to. I'm gonna go with uh, although the abs, mostly abs, but with gorgeous blonde. I feel like it would just be a big ab. Um, I'm gonna go with Wolfram, half wolf, half ram, and half tank. Sounds right, like he'd be final fun. stretch. As I said, four is all anyone ever needs. Right. On a stroll around the local forest. You happen upon an unfamiliar animal. Their leg is trapped in a devious trap and is bleeding profusely. The beast will likely not survive for long. How will you react? Berate the animal for being dumb and getting trapped. Don't interfere in the natural order of things or draw your scythe and swiftly slay the beast. Okay, well, if it's not going to survive, um, I would honestly put it out of its misery. I would draw my scythe and swiftly slay the beast. We got it. Let me just calculate the results. Won't take but a moment. <laughs> Combative, antagonistic, despotic tendencies. Heck, I've got the perfect brew for you. Let's go for... Four centiliter cinnamon whiskey, two deciliters apple juice, and one whole lime properly hmm. squeezed. I mean, that all sounds good. The cinnamon whiskey and the apple juice. Uh, I feel like that might taste like a, um, you know, cinnamon apple or... Uh, if you put some caramel in there, it'd be like a caramel apple. But a lime, that seems kind of weird. Up a splash of hot sauce and a splash of lime soda with a side garnish of cinnamon caramel crystals. Yeah, incredibly accurate. I have no idea what this is. I don't think it really fits my style. Eh, I'll just go with it's accurate. The quiz tells no lie. I think I'll call it Armageddon Punch. Ooh, it's so cute. I, oh my gosh, I love it. It looks like a vampire drink. And this I like the name. On the house. Gubas, nod to the bartender. Fine, I'll try it. The drink burns the fierce and energetic taste of a thousand suns exploding wiping out countless civilizations with their decaying breath space time warps in on itself brutally folding dimensions down into a singularity that ignites under the unfathomable pressure it's almost a death changing experience okay if it's fairly decent reasonably yummy i guess i like it could have been worse reasonably yummy heck an understatement of the century now what else can i get you your tip jar is pretty neat. I'd like a drink. What's your take on the janitor? Who else works in the office? Let's go ahead and ask these questions. Been chatting to our spooky one, eh? <laughs> uh, don't mind the grump, it's a ghost thing. Gus especially has a pretty dang irascible nature, but there's a layer of performance to it. In truth, they've been hella helpful around the den throughout the ages, and I'm grateful for that. Besides, the office itself couldn't operate without Gus and company. What else you got in mind? Okay, uh, who else works in the office? Heck, were I able to count and name all the folks? You likely haven't fully realized the size of this place. 
We've got you Reapers and all the myriad departments, the Custodian Legion, the weariless data grinders of the Calculatorium, the abysmal archive with its archivists. Cadaver resources, they're just plain odd, but someone's got to deal with the internal issues. Middle management, nobody knows what they actually do. Higher management, but they don't visit us. Basically ever. Same with fate. Many of the regular workers come by the den, though, so keep your eyes and ears open. What else you got in mind? Um, let's see, you're, let's talk about the tip oh, jar. thanks. Mortimer found the original oinker on an excursion to the shrouded zones. It's a bit of a hassle, though. Keeps multiplying all the time. Take your eye off for a second and bam, tiny piglets everywhere. Mm. Go on, take one. Just make sure you feed it with some coins once in a while. Oh, okay. Uh... Wait, I asked that one. Why didn't it go away? You've been chatting to our yeah, ghosts. Yeah, so I thought. Aside. What else you got in mind? Okay, so I'd like sure. a drink. What's your poison? Ooh, gosh, this stuff's expensive. The usual, which is what she gave me, a uh, gin and tariff tax on the beach. Bloody Gary. <laughs> Corpse survivor, heat death of the universe, iced coffee, milk, please. Nothing. What else you got in mind? I'll be going now. Au revoir, little reaper. She said I could take one of the piggy banks, but I don't, I don't see it. I can't scroll to the side. I want the, I want, I wonder if she said I could take. Oh well. Okay, so let's just continue. Okay, nothing. Check here. No talking. Okay, so let's go to bed. So this should be the final day. Let's see if it. That wasn't so good, was it? It's okay. We can figure it out, make it work. Crisp and clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. Yeah, I can do this. No, it's already falling apart. You were born for this. That's what fate keeps telling you, ain't it? It's like a surge in your spine. A faint echo of a perfect chord. It's very close, Grand Reaver. Be seeing you. Hmm. I wonder if that, like, if I would have done that every day, there would have been something there. Need ye cures for ailments or a trigger to ward off a curse? Okay, so we have the face of the great old one. Whoa, a seriously terror-inducing visage. But then again, who wouldn't want to look like an alter-deluvian monstrosity? Besides, tentacles are extremely useful and practical. Uh, and then that's the desolation thing and the light. I can't afford any of these. I'm curious what that would look like. Okay, so let's go to work. Just making sure. Yep. Okay. Oh, she gave me the piggy bank. Okay, so Crow News, a thousand suffocate to sleep after gruesome toxic spill lays waste to community. Crow News, uh, authorities investigating corruption at Carrier Corps uh, due to worst industrial t catastrophe in history. Crow News, more victims found. Toxic spill claims the life of another homeless person. The Daily Moon, hero alert. Area veterinarian saves the day after pacifying a horde of hangry mice. Modern Health, nurse wins prestigious award. There's more to medicine than just doctors. Cultural Mag, a new modern painting exhibition, pictures of melancholy. In Crow News, cruel irony, hotshot lawyer Sierra Lopez, dead in a hit and run accident caused by some drunk driver they helped to save. Give me the piggy bank. Put my money in it. <laughs> honk, honk. Okay, four grim. Okay, morning, Grim. Okay, see if we can clear up the mess from yesterday. That might give you just the boost you need. Do not forget, you may leave troubles behind, but new ones always lie ahead. Quota for the day. Two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. They talking about, like, the toxic waste and stuff that was on this? Wasn't it? Yeah, toxic spill. Industrial catastrophe. Toxic spill. Okay. Okay, so we have Chad Anderson, 25, unemployed MeTube philosopher. Chad quit college several years ago and started making MeTube videos in their parents' basement. 80% of the content is about philosophy and 20% critical analysis of why they dumped, got dumped yet again. Okay, sorry. I'm going to go right off this. There's my first one. 
Okay, Jerry Merle, 49, kidnapper. Jerry's a creepy kidnapper. There's no way around that. Their latest plan is ambling near stadiums, wearing a cute mascot outfit, and swiping kids who want to take a photo. Hasn't really worked this far because of the crowds, but when it will, their demand a substantial ransom. Okay, there's my two. Watch them all, like, be horrible. Okay, so Brian... Uh, Kalathintios, 31 janitor. Uh, raking leaves is hard. Blowing them around with a leaf blower is much more fun. This is why Brian takes care of the leaves exclusively with a leaf blower. Starting already at 6 a.m. in the morning. The toxic fumes the machines emit does not concern them one bit. Oh, I probably should have killed him. Uh, yeah. Well, too late. I'm not letting a kidnapper of children survive. Uh, Kalia... Jones, 40, advisor. Kalia believes in their power to give only the best advice to potential presidential candidates of the neutral party to boost the success of their campaign. Their self-confidence might be misplaced as a reputation for everyone they've advised thus far have crashed and burned. Okay. Okay, so Yardo Pef, 52, morgue assistant. No one truly knows how the fall from grace of Yolanda began. Once upon, they lived a heroic life, so it is said, but such grand deeds are now a thing of the past. Those days, uh, these days, they work as a post middle age assistant at a morgue. I feel like there's, there, no, that's, yeah, those are all done, okay. Okay, so Jake. Bertowski, 28, unemployed. Jake, a self-prescribed chemist, loves to create new interesting recipes in their kitchen. Jake's latest work involves mixing opioids <laughs> and uppers. They also enjoy showcasing their new inventions at the local club scene. Yeah, sure, why not? Did I do them all? Just double checking. Oops, didn't mean to pick that one up again. Yeah, I did them all. Hopefully that was right. I mean, honestly, none helped with the chemical spills. I probably should have got rid of the guy that causes them. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? Crushing it, profiles come in, I send them out, clockwork. Dismal, I hate everything about this job. I think I've managed to follow the rules. I'm just surprised I made it this far. Let's go this way. Interesting. Hmm. Yes. Your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. I mean, I technically only screwed up once, unless I screwed up with letting that guy blow toxic fumes. I see the required profiles are all here. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is okay. time to get started. Wait, I wanted to ask about today. I'm ready. Let's do it. So let's yes? What about today? Yesterday went really bad. What about today? Did I make a difference? Did we help? I feel yesterday didn't go bad. So just... Oh, absolutely. Things are already looking up. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. So, keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right. Looking at these stats, the numbers say... Your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. I am, sincerely, surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. The cat's eyes are closed now. So much so that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. Yay, even more money? Yes, thank you. I don't really do this for the money, you know. Let's just go with thank oh, you. Oh, do not thank me, Grim. We are just getting started. Speaking of, the raise also comes with a prize. Oh, I got a prize. The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Display it proudly on your workstation. For perfunctory collapse. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. Okay, this has been hard. Does it get any? Does it get easier? More rules? Piece of cake? I like ice cream. Piece of cake. Careful, Grim. That is exactly the kind of hubris that will lead to a downfall. Mm, maybe. As such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. Yay. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. Sweet. I'm just 
hurt a pig. That was weird. Ooh, what's this plant? Barkeep, when did you get this plant? What are you doing here, odd plant? Hey now, Sonny. We don't belong to nobody. Holy hell, a talking plant. What in the... Hang on, are you from the plant department? <laughs> Who told you about the plant department? Am I not supposed to know about the plant department? I've heard rumors. You're a plant, so I assumed. Forget what you heard, Sonny. No such thing. Anywhere. No such thing? But I hoped... Really? I don't believe you? Come on, you can tell me. Eh, ain't nothing to tell. No such thing? But I hoped. Really? I don't believe you. Who dares to hope in this day and age? Really? We deny everything! I don't believe you? Come on, tell me. Don't be such a killjoy. Fine, I didn't want to know anyway. Stop bothering an old plant, why don't you? Don't be such a killjoy. Don't poke your nose where it don't belong! Seriously, you can trust me. Can we... Can we really? I can keep a secret. You have to tell me. Fine, I didn't want to know anyway. You're not going to leave us alone otherwise? Mm -mm. Yeah. Sonny, it's just a regular department. Not even that big. But it's very busy. That's it? Why is it busy? Why didn't you say so to begin with? So why is it busy? What do you think? It's a department for managing plant life. There are a lot of plants. A lot. More than humans. Plants everywhere. When you say so to begin with, and you and you were pulling my leg before, right? We're real tired of folks asking about the plant department. Is why we visit the den on Sundays. Lowers the chance of bothersome busybodies with annoying questions. Who even gave you the idea the department is anything interesting? Fate? Oh, I don't know. It was, um, some other spawn. Doesn't the Mystery Act just make you more compelling to people? Eh, might be. Can't help it, though. There's theater in my xylem. <laughs> Anything else? Seeing as we're now deep in the soil of inquiry? So what's your name? Is there really nothing unusual with the plant department? Not really, I'm off. Me? I'm Herbert. <laughs> Herbert? You know, sort of like a herb art. A herb? <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Who were you before you became a plant reaper? Yeah, I get it. That's supposed to be a joke. Pleased to meet Don't you. forget the green fella holding me up. That's my pal, Tim. Tim's a real hoot. Say hello, Tim. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Who's Tim? Tim's my partner. All root, stem, and leaf. Sometimes they bloom and have the most delightful aroma. Then the bees from the bee department find us very attractive. <laughs> Anything else? There's a bee department? Of course. Makes perfect sense, don't it? Uh, d don't ask about the bee department. Anything else? Is there really nothing unusual at the plant department? Okay. We see you got a keen mind, so we'll let you in on a secret. But you didn't hear this from us. Gotta promise you won't spill a bean. I promise. Not a word. If at some point you break your word, beware. Our rhizome reaches far and wide, right into your room if need be. And these roots can rip the skull off a skeleton in an instant. Snap! Seriously? Damn, that's harsh? Yeah, yeah, just tell me the secret. Damn, that's harsh. A fitting punishment for the wicked. Snap! Nap, I say. So listen closely. We're secretly trying to make human plant hybrids <laughs> so they can conquer the world. Really? Are you messing with me? Haha, <laughs> really funny. No, obviously we're joking. Or are we? <laughs> right, I'll catch you later. Not in this lifetime, Sonny. Okay, so we can't talk to Gus again. I doubt there's anything new with the bartender, but we'll check. Hey, hey, pleased to see you again. Ain't much happening here today. It's a slow Sunday. Anything I can get you? <laughs> What's the deal with the plant? You mean my favorite pot chock full of plant department goodness? 
They usually drop in on Sundays due to an aversion of people, which is funny because they're really quite sociable. Personally, I love their quirky sense of humor. What else is there to say? Yeah, be going. Au revoir, little reaper. The voice acting in this game is really good. Okay, I came down here, didn't I? Oh, I really want to get this. I'm gonna get this. I want to see what By this Jones is. Coffer, the slimy appendage is still here. I shudder at that very memory. Did not know which way was up, which way was down, where to step forward. The walls, they were everywhere. I grabbed what I could and ran, ran as fast as me feet could go. As I emerged from the darkness, I found myself standing in the middle of a carnival. Truly a nightmare. So they got a play director and they have a crow. Oh, they have a masquerade on steampunk. War never changes. Chimchin? The great old one. Oh my gosh, I love it. Extra slimy. Pigment, pop art, skin, yar, bonehead. Man, if I would have known that. That one matches better. Although I like the masquerade one. Let's go with steampunk. Okay, we'll sleep. All right, everyone, so I'm going to end it there. So we finished our first day as the Grim Reaper. How do you think it went? You know, I think uh, we did a pretty good job. Got an excellent review. Got a raise. Um, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of this game. Uh, please leave me a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this with somebody who might enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.